Welcome back to the channel. My name is Avon. We are back with Football Manager 2019 and the Chelsea Save. And in today's episode, two matches for you, both with different focuses. First up, we have a Premier League match against Manchester City, who are fifth. We are second. It's the penultimate game of our Premier League season. And then after that, we have the second leg of our Champions League semi-final tie against Schalke. We lead 2-0, two away goals in Germany. That's a massive, massive win. So I feel like we've got a foot in the final, but anything could happen in that second leg. We need to maintain our focus. It was a 2-0 win. It was two first half goals, one coming from Emerson, the other from N'Golo Kante. So we are firmly in control of the tie. We just need to make sure that we stay focused for the second leg. The league table looks like this at the moment with two games remaining. We are three points behind Manchester United, but we have an extremely difficult run-in of Man City and then travelling to Arsenal on the final day. Meanwhile, Man United, I believe they have Leicester and West Ham. Uh, we've confirmed second place. Arsenal are too far back now, so we're either going to finish first or second, which is a good season. I'm happy with that. But hopefully we'll catch Manchester United. First game against Man City. Let's jump into it. Now, N'Golo Kante is, of course, suspended for this match after receiving a red card against Wolverhampton. So we will move Jorginho to the box-to-box -box midfielder. And we're going to play Ross Barkley. Uh, Emerson's picked up a bit, bit of an injury, but he's okay. I think he can play. Um, if worse comes to worse, we can play Alonso for the Schalke game. He's not a terrible player. It's three stars. So I'm not too worried about that. William, though, will have to come off. So we'll have to start Pedro on the right. As Blaquet is injured, Dabby Luiz is available for the selection. So we'll bring him back in. Uh, we'll leave Stevens in, though, because he's been solid and defending's been very good. So we're going to leave him in. I think we'll stick with this. We're going to give Morata another game. And then if he doesn't perform, we'll go back to Rodrigo for that second Schalke match. But um, this is the team we're going to play. Let's send it out and uh, we'll see what happens. Manchester City then. Matching this in formation. Uh, we played them earlier in the season. I don't remember what happened actually. It was Boxing Day, wasn't it? I believe we beat them. I think we beat Man City and then lost to Arsenal, if I'm not mistaken. Where are we? Oh uh, no, we beat Arsenal, but we lost 2-1 to Man City. It was uh, Aguero and Sterling getting goals. Um, they came from behind actually to beat us. So... Trying to get a bit of revenge here. The team, though, uh, Edison in goal. Back three of Otamendi, Mtiti, and Varane. Var Mtiti, I believe they played like 80 million for him. Uh, Mendy and Walker at wing back. Gundogan and De Bruyne in central midfield. And then Sane, Sterling, and Aguero, that front three. Uh, they've got Jesus on the bench. Zaha, uh, Fernandinho, uh, Phil Foden, the youngster, who I'm sure at the, this point in the game is probably really good. He's, yeah, he's apparently he's a superb signing. He's at the Sancho sort of level, I think. He's um, sort of that that level of player, I think, at this uh, stage in the game, 2020. So, uh, yeah, he's a good player. Go for the show me what you can do to keep our run going. Team talk is looking very good. We're at home. Uh, I think we should just be favourites for this, but we'll see what happens. Kante is missing for this one, though, so hopefully that won't be a deciding factor because he's a very, very good player. And uh, at home, we need to get a bit of revenge on City after they beat us... Um, it was at the end of the year, wasn't it? At the end of 2019. Going to get the latest scores up to see how Man United are doing. They're already leading 1-0 through a second-minute goal by Lukaku. So, uh, yeah, uh, we need to try and match them. If they're going to win, we need to win as well. City with the possession here, five and a half minutes in. And here is Sergio Aguero. That's a good ball for Leroy Sane. And Sane still got it here. And it's come out to Aguero and it is 1-0 to Man City after less than six minutes. Not a good start by us. And immediately on the back foot. Aguero with a lovely ball for Leroy Sane. Took it away from the defender. And uh, I mean it, it wasn't dealt with very well by Stevens. And Aguero finished it off. So not a great start. But let's try and get back into it. Throw in here. Mendy. It's uh, well intercepted by Barkley. But uh, Aguero here. Aguero is going to get sent off. He's already on a yellow card. He's just received the second one. Aguero is sent off. Two yellow cards in 18 minutes. That's ridiculous. Right, now they have a man off. See, they've still got a very strong like defence. They've still got that back five. So, I don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to play for the 1-0? I don't know. We're going to go for a push forward. They've not, not made a change. So, they've gone just the one striker. Throw in here for us. Rudiger. We've got a man more than them now. Can we take advantage of these situations? Abacosta. Jorginho. Gives it back to the Italian. And that's a goal! Oh, what a... Was that a header by Hazard or a volley? I don't know. It's 1-1, 32 minutes. And Hazard gets goal number 18 of the season. Great work by Zabacosta. They set it up as well. We'll see this again in 3D because it happens so quickly. It's already in 3D. It's just a different angle. Jorginho 
to uh, Zabacosta and the cross. And uh, it was, well, it didn't look like Hazard touched it at all. But he's claiming the goal. He's been given the goal. It's one apiece. Free kick here for us. Christensen take this. It's Pedro to Ross Barkley. Jorginho thought he was going to shoot them. Gives it to Emerson. It's, uh, oh, it's a bit too much for Pedro to do there. But can he keep the ball? He can. Zabacosta. Emerson, is he going to shoot from there? He's got a few goals. Oh, he rats the bar. The Hazard's there and he's disallowed. I think it was a foul. Shirt pulling, yeah. Sorry, interruptions mean I keep having to stop stop talking and pausing. It's really annoying. But we had the ball in the net there, but it's not going to count. It's 1-1. Half-time whistle is about to be blown. Man United, Man United have 4-0 up at half-time. I think it's fair to say that they're winning the league unless they collapse on the final day. I've gone with it, they're a man down. We need to match them. If we don't win this match, then City, uh, Man United rather, are going to be champions. So, uh, yeah, we have to win this. If we draw, yeah, if we draw, Man, Man United will be too far gone. So we have to win this match. I'm going to go attacking just because of that. Free kick here for Emerson. And it's in! Oh, it is 2-1. Uh, do we stay attacking? Uh, yes, we will. We've got a man advantage. Emerson, a fourth goal of the season. I, I swear three of them have been in like, the past sort of five games. It's mad. And uh, another goal for him. Free kick. 48 minutes. Just four minutes in, in the second half. 2-1 lead. Corner ball here. Emerson. Barkley. 53 and a half minutes into the match. It's Morata. Jorginho. He could shoot from there, could he? Lays off Rudiger. We've got a lot of players forward here, which is a bit concerning. Zabacosta. Oh, my God. 3-1, absolute rocket by Zavacosta. That's 5 for him now. This is turning into a mauling now. That sending off has really hurt City. Thought Jorginho was going to shoot from, from an angle, but gave it to uh, Rudiger, and then a great pull for Zavacosta. Zavacosta on the half volley, fantastic finish. Man City have still got the same formation, but Sterling's off for Jesus. So uh, they've still got this, that one guy up top. They have just changed it up again, though. They keep chopping and changing. But 20 minutes left in the match. We lead 3-1. I'm going to make a sub there. Morata, again, not done well. Again, the strikers aren't really finding goals at the moment. As long as someone is, though, I'm not overly disappointed. But strikers are meant to be the guy scoring goals. 15 minutes left. We'll go back to balance. Just keep hold of this now. But leading 3-1. Man United, 4-1. So Leicester have got a goal back. But I'm not, <laughs> I'm not counting on them getting a 4-4 draw. Two minutes left in the match. Uh, let's start getting some people rested. Uh, we'll go for Moses over Zabacosta. And we'll take off Jorginho for Hughes. A couple of minutes left in the match. Man City could be looking for something here. I mean, they're fifth place. They're going for a top four finish. So uh, we need to make sure they don't get that. I mean, they can still get it, I think. Sane going for an effort here. Oh, hits the post. And that's a four-time whistle. Chelsea three, Man City one. We stay close to Man United. They win, I think it was 4-1 in the end. But much better. I mean, the sending off for them really helped us. But if that hadn't happened, I think it would have been a much harder match. United winning 4-1 in the end. Now there is a three-point gap. And the goal difference is three. So we would need United to lose and us to win. And the goal difference to be a factor as well. So we need a lot of things to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But I will... I'll, I'll see what happens. They're facing West Ham. I'm guessing it's at London Stadium. It is at London Stadium. We've got them in the FA Cup final um, the following week as well. So I, I don't know what's going to happen, but we we need a lot of factors. So I'm not I'm not overly confident, but we'll give it our best shot. Oh, that's a shame. Zabacosta is out for the second leg. Uh, bruised foot. I'm going to give him an injection to get him through the match. Because I think he's key to that team. At that right wing back sp spot. He's been brilliant this year. And I think to have him, not have him there would be a big miss. Because Moses has been poor all season. So I want to get him through that. We're going to be facing Bayern in the final. They got a 1-1 draw in the uh, Bernabeu. 2-1 win on aggregate. Uh, Lewandowski penalty. But then it was known goal by Kimmich. Gave Real Madrid a glimmer of hope. But it's going to be Bayern in the final. I'm expecting us to get there. But... We need to make sure we do the job against Schalke first because anything could happen. Okay, we are evens, favourites to win. Zabacosta is injured, but he's okay to play. Emerson again, he's okay. He needs a fitness test, but he'll be fine. And Golo Kante is available once again, so we'll bring him in. Willian is okay, I think. I'll put him on the bench just so we have that option. 
Um, I think this is what we're going to go with. Uh, we'll go back to Rodrigo, actually. I don't really fancy Morata too much. So uh, we'll go back to Rodrigo. Kevin Vokes in centre-back in place of Robin Nock. I think that's the only change they've made. I think everything else is the same. Mascarell's on the bench. I don't know if he was on there before. I'm going to go for the... Do do not allow complacency. Yeah, we'll go for that. Early corner here, less than a minute in. And it's uh, Jack Stevens. Oh, it's it was an offside, but it was almost in. Great start, though. Free kick here with nine minutes coming up. It's uh, Rodrigo with the header, and uh, he was offside. <laughs> Two offsides in the first nine minutes. Corner, Pedro taking it. 17th minute of the match. That is definitely an Angolo Kante. Goal number seven of the season. Missed out against Man City due to the suspension. But gets the goal here to give us a 1-0 lead at home. 3-0 up on aggregate. I think we're in the final, but let's just keep going. Farman, didn't, Farman has been awful over these two legs. He really has. Eden Hazard. Ball for Emerson, who's got loads of space. Gets a cross in there. Rodrigo with a header in it. It's over. That's what we've been missing this season. Our strikers missing things like that. Half an hour. Schalke haven't had a, shot at a goal yet. We've been well on top in this match. Only 2 out of 10 on target, which isn't great. But we've got the 1-0 lead. In the middle to Jorginho. Switches it. That's a lovely ball for Emerson. And Emerson cuts inside. Is he going to go for goal himself? That was well wide. That was a horrible effort. Another highlight here is Abacosta to Kante. We've been dominant in this first half. We could have had a lot more goals though. Headed away by Caliguri. Here's Kante. Emerson. Jorginho. Zappa Costa. Is it going to be another Zappa Costa goal? It is. It's six for the season now. He has been like it's massively underrated in this game. I started this series. I was like, why have Chelsea signed him? Here's why. He's got six goals this season. He's been arguably our best player this season. He's been absolutely fantastic. And there's a 2 0 lead going into half time, 4 0 up on aggregate. Schalke now need to score four goals. I mean, that would send him through on away goals, but we can't, we're not going to concede four. Our defensive record at home, our defensive record all season has been fantastic. Let's make some changes. Uh, Hazard's going to come off. I feel, like can, I feel like we can rest some players now. Sancho's going to come on for Hazard. I'm also going to bring on Alonso for Emerson. In fact, you know what? Let's go for a praise next time we can. Free kick here. Alonso's on. <laughs> it was almost in. Rodrigo. And uh, he was offside. <laughs> There's been a lot of offsides. I mean, they were the underdogs going into, going into this, but I mean, we, we've we've completely outdone them at every every level, every part of the pitch. We've just been better than them, and uh, hopefully a third goal. If we can get a five nil aggregate win, that would be really good. Pedro here, um, <laughs> we went for goal. That was ambitious. Uh, let's make our last change. Let's bring off Zaba Costa because he's got that knock, isn't he? Um, oh, I didn't put Mo I didn't put Moses on the bench. Uh, we'll move Stevens to wing back then. We'll bring on David Luiz. As the full-time whistle, it is Chelsea 2, Schalke 0. It is 4-0 on aggregate. And uh, yeah, Champions League final against Bayern uh, in a couple of episodes' time. It is a replay of the 2012 final. That penalty shootout. The last time Chelsea won the Champions League. The first time and only time that Chelsea won the Champions League. It's a replay of the 2012 final in 2020, eight years in the making. So, uh, next episode, Arsenal, the last Premier League match. That will be on Boxing Day. I'm not going to upload Christmas Day. I don't expect you to watch videos on Christmas Day. I don't, I'm not, I, I don't expect myself to upload on Christmas Day. So, Boxing Day, Arsenal, 27th Man United, 28th Bayern. I think there'll be a few days break until New Year's Day when my new series is going to start. So that's what you can expect over the next few days. The final day against Arsenal. Uh, we need to win. We need United to lose to West Ham. And then the goal difference needs to be better as well. It could happen, but I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not confident. But we can only do what we can. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, do drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live. Follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. I will see you next episode for the final day of the Premier League season. We are facing Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. So I will see you on Boxing Day. Uh, have a lovely Christmas Day and um, hope you enjoy today's video. And I hope you enjoy the, the final three videos of the series. And what I've got coming up in the new year. A German save with a uh, semi-pro team that might be amateur actually i need to do my research still so uh, do look out for that but for now thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon goodbye and merry christmas